Hi, I'm Robin from Rainbow Gardens, and today we are gonna talk about some very basic, basic gardening techniques. Um, we are going to put a plant in a pot. Um, so, first thing we're gonna need, you're gonna wanna decide what you're wanting to put in your pots. Um, I chose some annuals that will bloom all the way from, um, from fall to spring. And an annual is something that you have to plant annually every year. Uh, a perennial is something that will come back year after year. Now, some of the annuals self seed, and so you'll, you get lucky if you have something else popping up. But um, I like to use annuals when I'm doing little uh, combination pots or little pots. Um, and that way then when the uh, summer plants come in, I can just take those out and put those uh, other plants in. So, uh, first off, we're gonna start off with a pot. I have a drain, uh, this is a, a hole cover. You're gonna wanna that, use one of those because you don't want your soil to leak out the bottom and you don't want ants and things to get inside. Now, one thing I use at home when I'm uh, looking for a cover for the hole, um, and it is dryer sheets, use dryer sheets. So that is perfect. So this is just some uh, shade cloth. sidewalk being put in there. Okay, so next you're going to look for a potting soil. It's got to say potting soil if you're putting it in a pot. You don't want to use topsoil. You don't want to use soil conditioner. You're going to want a uh, potting soil. And I truly, truly recommend the Fox Farm products. I've used some of those others and that are a little cheaper and i have to be honest with you you are getting what you pay for um when i switched over i was just amazed everything in here it's got lots of nutrients um the bat guano earthworm castings mycorrhizae humic acid these are all things that your plants need um and my plants looked beautiful all season. So I definitely recommend, and it, it drains very well. Some other products that uh, might be more common, um, they start, uh, they use uh, sawdust in their uh, potting soil, and that doesn't really provide a lot of good nutrition or drainage. So that's why I like to go with the Fox Farm products. All right, so. Let's get to work. All right, so you've got your plant. First thing you're gonna do is it has to come out of this little tiny pot here. So what I like to do is I'll squeeze it a little bit on the sides, turn it over, make sure my hand is holding right here, turn it over and it should come right out. Sometimes they need a little pat, but now it just looks kind of like a cube. So you're gonna wanna loosen these roots. So. People have different methods that they like to use. I just kind of massage the roots a little bit. So it's nice and ready to grow, nice and full. All right. So we're gonna put some soil inside. Make a little hole there. Got your plant, loosened it up. There we go. All right, now you fill it in. Voila. Ta-da, all done. So you've got your, got your plant planted. Now you're gonna wanna, whenever, whatever plant you choose, you're gonna wanna know what are its sun requirements, what are its watering requirements. Those are the first two things that will kill a plant if you're doing them wrong. Most things do not wanna sit in water. So you've gotta make sure that your pot has a drain hole. Um, you want a good draining soil, as we mentioned, 
and uh, you're gonna wanna put this guy wherever he's most comfortable, sun or shade. So make sure you do your homework on that and find out what is best for him. Now this is called a dianthus. He likes full sun. So uh, we're gonna probably put him out in the sun there. Beautiful. Um, you could mix that in with something for Christmas, something white or any holiday really. So now that you are an expert, let's try a combination pot. Don't forget to water as soon as you're finished potting. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you're an expert, you can go ahead and try a combo pot. Now, when I'm looking for something to put in a combination pot, I'm looking for things that have the same watering needs and the same sun needs. So these all, this is a um, pansy. These are called uh, Johnny Jump Ups or Violas. They look like little mini pansies. I love them. And then I picked out some snapdragons to go in the middle. And the way you're gonna to wanna to do this so it presents best is you're going to put your taller things in the center. Tall things in the center, medium size next, and then all around with this, the smaller. However, you can uh, change it up a little bit and do the super tall thing in the middle and then do like one of these, one of these. Um, it's just, you can, you know, start creating all sorts of things. So we'll go ahead and pop this up real quick, show you what we can do. Hmm. One thing I wanna mention, you can buy things separately or you can get them in a six pack. Six packs are very convenient if you're planting multiple <clears throat> pots and things. But one thing I have found with a lot of the six packs is they come with these little cardboard things and supposedly you should be able to put these in the yard and this will just disintegrate and go away. Right but I can, I can tell you that <clears throat> I have gone out there at the end of the season and this looks exactly the same. This didn't get to grow to its potential. So I would definitely recommend taking these off if you want your plant to grow to its full potential. And you just peel it off there. Super easy. Then do the same thing like I mentioned, massage the roots, and then you plop it in. After you add soil. <laughs> do what? After you add soil. <laughs> yes, after you add soil. Got the soil, I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle there. And I'm gonna choose one of these snapdragons because they're the tallest. And I think we'll go with pink. So kind of squeeze this out of the six pack there. And that one's ready to go. It is. It's got lots of roots there. So I'm gonna break this up a little bit, give it a little massage, put that inside. It's like, oh. All right, so we're gonna push this down a little bit. He's nice and secure. All right, so next. I'm gonna go with some of these pansies because they're the next size up. So I'm gonna get one of these. Which are also in those little pots there. Oh yeah, I gotta break those up. Our first combo pot. Uh, now, as soon as you get these potted up, you're going to want to add some water. You're going to want to make sure that you water these in really good, uh, very well when you first uh, get them planted up. So you can use a watering can, you can use a hose. I'm going to use a hose very lightly so that I don't splash all the dirt around. I'll probably go about like this. And then you're just going to want to make sure the entire plant gets some water. Soaked. Yes. Might take a few passes. Exactly. To get them really wet. 
A lot of times I like to see water coming out of the bottom. Yes. The very first time that I'm watering it. The draining hole. Yes, I want to see water coming out the drain hole and that way I know this plant has been thoroughly watered. And during our not so hot months, plants may not need to be watered every day. So what I like to do is stick my finger in there. That's the best uh, thermometer or not thermometer. What would you call that? Uh, water checker. Yes, water checker. And uh, moisture checker. If it feels dry, then I will water, water it and I will water, water it thoroughly. Yeah. And if it is uh, wet, then I'm going to leave it alone. Well, don't be afraid to stick your finger in there. Yes. To see, really get in there. Because sometimes uh, it seems like it's wet on top and it's really not. And also depending on the soil that you're using. All right, now, uh, when you first look at it, you know, there's going to be some spots that has nothing growing in. It might be a little lopsided. Uh, that's okay. It's going to fill in nicely. It's going to come in, uh, spread out, and it's going to look beautiful. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's not going to look, you know, fabulous when you first plant it simply because you've watered it and it's getting used to the uh, its new home. So um, just take that into consideration as well. So this is a, a pot that I uh, potted up last week and you can see how beautifully it is filling in. So don't be too hard on yourself. Um, and don't think that that's what it's gonna look like all the time because it's gonna fill in nicely. It's gonna look good. Um, and we are really excited to see how that will turn out. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are gonna have some more Gardening Basic 101 classes, uh, uh, videos coming up soon. Uh, classes as well uh, in the spring. Uh, so please stay tuned and uh, Please don't forget to like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thank you.